Hello, welcome back. Glad to see you here today. Glad you can make it back. Today we are at Old Pier Puritan Graveyard here in Chester, South Carolina. So we're going to walk around the graveyard. I just got to turn around. Yeah, see this. Look at this. Look at the wall. Oh, there's some old graves there, I know. So grab a chair, sit back, and enjoy. I mean, just look at the iron fence I got to go through to open to get into the cemetery. I mean, they got some outside the cemetery. I'm not going to mess with them because they cannot be old as these ones in here. So let's go in. I mean, this is just amazing. Oh, already. This first, uh, when I walked in, this is what our soldiers of the Revolutionary War buried in this cemetery. Alexandra Walker, 1770 or 1744 to 1799. Robert Walker Sr. 1746 to 1822, Robert Miller, 1760 to 1831, William White, 1752 to 1833, James Kennedy Sr., 1751 to 1820, John Hardin, 1763 to 1816, erected in 1931 by an so well, there's another one, 1752 Thomas Corbin, 1801. I mean, just look at this. James Mac McClennett, born in Ireland, 1767 to 1837. Elizabeth Kennedy McClennett, born in Ireland, 1767 to 1850. 1845 to 1895 and this one only says 1816 and this is one of them that you got to add up 67 years 5 months 22 days 1875 this one may be the oldest one I hear so far, 1790, 70 years old. So, it, it was 20 years old. Or, I'm sorry, it was uh, 1920. Or 1720, I'm sorry, 1720. So far, this is the oldest one. The only thing this thing says is uh, Alexandra Boys, 1802. That's all this one says. And this one is 1793. This one was the old too. Uh, 1723. It says, I follow Elias Jackson West. 1814 to 1887. Age 83. And... 1829 to 1892, 1834 to 1864, 1856 to 1922. Okay, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Made like a bent, a table. This is Richard Kennedy, 1811. I can't tell how old he was. It don't. I can't see it. That's the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Here's an 1861. That's all it says. 64 years old. So 1820 something. 21. And these these right here are the same way. You gotta add up their. It only has their birthday on it. Sergeant 
Robert White. I think this is that that one up front. Yes, this is one of the ones up front it was talking about. He was in the Revolutionary War. And this one was in 1861 to 1865. What I'm saying is this was a, sir, a soldier. He was actually born in 1824 and died in 1904. William Alexander White. He fought and he served as soldiers in Lucas, South Carolina Battalion in the War of 1861 to 1865. And here is Miss Elizabeth Hofit, 1851 to 1864. She was young. She was really young. And here is a wife of Henry, W.J. Henry, 1828 to 1877. No cross, no crown. And this one was young too. It was only 18, 19 years old. But see, death don't have a number. Death don't have an age. This one was 1828 till 1900. This Mary White, 38 years old. Now, I always thought that uh, these new names out today wasn't for back then. I was wrong. Hannah McPhee. She was 43 years old, seven months. McPhee died in 1860, was 80 years old, eight months and 15 days. She was Born in 1780. Here's 1807 to 1883. Mr. John T. M. McPhee. I guess this is all a family. GPS signal lost. Sorry, my phone is going. I don't know why my phone was still on. This one is 1814 to 1885. Take the next left, then your destination will be on the left. Be quiet. Here's another soldier. I don't know what, I can't know, it's Archibald Hood. This was 1850 to 1892. Jane B. Shannon. 1877 to 1880. Be honest with you, I'd come back to the car. My phone got so hot it stopped recording. It's hot out here today. Whoa. It's over. They said it's 93 degrees and it feels like 100. So let's get back in here and try it again. If I have to, I brought my other camera with me. So if I have to change cameras, I will. I don't know, this one may be the, uh, one of the oldest out here. 1835 and it was 60 years old. So, I put it about eight. Well, no, not not the oldest, but it is one of the one so uh, old. It's back in the 1700s. Now I'm gonna tell you this: they lived a good long life, 1890 to 1977. William John D. Henry, doctor. And she did too. Florence, his wife, 1891 to 1982. And here's Ella Walker, born in 1839. She was 80 years old when she passed away. And here's 1819 and 
in uh, 1811 till 1844 and in 1806 to 1876 and this one right here was a patriot I just can't see no writings on the 1816 I really can't read it there's not too many military out here, so there probably won't be, at the end of this video, there probably won't be any uh, tribute, because there's not that many out here. There's only like a couple. And I need a lot of them to, uh, to do a song, you know, do the Star Spangled Banner with. There's 1836 to 1915. 1836 to 1910. 1867 of 1940. And Abraham White. He was 20 years old when he passed away. No, oh, I'm sorry, 53. Here is a one soldier, Alexandra Walker. 18, 1819, 1890, 1882. He was in South Carolina Cavalry, Hampton Bridge. Or Hampton, I'm sorry, Hampton's Brigade. One thing I can say is thank you for your service. Here's John Walker, 1812 to 1866. Captain, South Carolina. War 1812. Thank you for your service. And I really can't tell what this one is. April, I can see the date. Ooh, April 17th. And it was 85 years old when it passed away. That's a nice headstone though. Here's Robert Lipsy. They don't give his death though or his birth. But he was in the military. Thank you for your service. And this right here is quite amazing the way they did this um, railing with a chain around these. And there's some old ones in there too. 1790 to 1850. Uh, 1810 to 1831. And 1797 to 1851. I love how they did this. And 1890. It's one of those you have to add up. It's 73 years old. I have to say this. David McConnell, LLD. He wasn't that, uh, this one's not that old, but he's got something to, uh, his family's got something to let, talk about. He was a, uh, World War II, China, Bermuda, uh, Burma, India. He was a U.S. ambassador to the United States.
but they got other graves out here now, I'm not gonna mess with those up there because I know they're you know, are not as old as ones in here inside this iron and fence and this rock wall I love this man I love this And I think that's going to do it for this one. We walked around the old Puritan cemetery. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I have. I've enjoyed walking around it. You know, let me know in the comments below. Do you enjoy me doing these uh, cemeteries? I need to know, you know hear, from, hear from you. I need to hear some feedback. So leave me some feedback in the comments below. Be safe. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. And I'm out.